Greetings, one and all, from the White Mountains of Arizona. Another beautiful day. But whose fault is it? <laughs> yeah, as you saw in the thumbnail or the title, we're talking about climate change and everyone's got their own opinion on it. Uh, I have my own opinion and ego surrounding it. So what I want to do today is try to drop that as much as possible. I know it's not, not in this current configuration, but I'm going to try to drop my ego as much as possible and try to get some new information about this climate change, dare I call it an agenda. There's that ego again. <laughs> yes, the agenda. So um, you're probably going to see some of my bias come out, but I'm going to try not to. Tara's over here connecting to who knows what. We'll find out. We have questions. We don't really try to connect to a specific entity unless we're, we got one in mind. Okay. Oh, okay. So what do we got here? Who are you connected to? Earth of before and Earth after. Before and after what? This experiment. Okay, so we have questions about... The idea of climate change. Should we talk to the Earth of before or after? They are all one. Okay. Ask all. Uh, so we're being pushed, uh, humanity is being pushed with an agenda that the Earth doesn't know how to regulate her own temperature. Uh, we're causing this devastation and we're all going to die if we don't do something about it, like tax the citizens more. What can you tell us about this agenda? This agenda is very much yours as it is the others. The agenda is to get you to manifest the devastation in order to bring out the separation of Earth, but still within the same Earth. It is also for the others to push their agenda of slavery, of keeping the consciousness for themselves. Okay, um, so they create a fear, um, they create panic, they, they come with the answer to the panic. The answer is a restriction of our freedoms and we just continue to, 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 to down the generations with less freedom, is that the idea? That is one side of the coin to sort of create while you manifest. If they can create something in which you can set your intention upon, you bring upon your own destruction. So in essence, the climate change is as much your creation as the creation of other who would create something you might see as artificial but it cannot live on this plane without your intention. So uh, what was the type of energy that uh, caused us to manifest climate change or the agenda of it? Your manifestation part was wanting to be in a fear state. For some of you who wish to understand the negative polarity or the darkness, would want to ask for these restrictions, ask for these devastations in order to grow and wake up, so to speak. But also it's used as an entrapment for you. So the climate change agenda helps us to learn about our shadows, but at the same time we slide further into our shadow. Yes, there's always an extreme of opposites in everything, polarities. If you are doing one thing in one polarity, then you are doing the opposite in the other. So it's not that the earth can't regulate her own temperature, it's that they wish for humans to manifest an earth with chaotic extremes in weather. Yes. And that from that chaos, they'll rein in more control of their human population. Yes. And in essence, 
your intention, which creates the, what you would say is climate change, but also with the aid of instruments that could help to maintain this control, but they cannot create it. They can only maintain it. You are the creators. So they want us to create technology that'll help enslave ourselves. You are the technology. Okay. Uh, can you tell us some about the positive light side of this climate change agenda? More details about it? It's an understanding that reality is also non-reality. That it's whatever you want to make of it. And if you want to believe that the earth has turned against you, then that's fine. That is what you believe. And that is your reality. It's as real as you believe yourself to be. But if you wish to have a reality in which the weather is but a figmentation, that it is but a game, then that is also your reality, as real as you believe yourself to non-be or be. Hmm. Are the controllers of the simulation or matrix or whatever you want to call it, taking more proactive steps such as weather modification to bring about this agenda? Yes, but also they would not have been able to create this modification without your energy being lent to them. And it's the energy of fear that we're not in control of our own safety? Yes, that you control nothing, not even yourself. And this d disconnection from Gaia is intentional to keep us in a slave mentality? If you have no connection, you are in a constant state of loss, of fear. Imagine a child who is orphaned. Their safety is gone, their foundation. They're for a time in a state of fear until they are offered a choice. They can maintain this fear or rise out of it. Okay. So what part do the streaks in the sky play in the program, the agenda? What was created for the sky can only be in the sky of your reality if you were not a part of the manifestation, the co-creation. You were a part of it in some form. Some look up at the sky and do not see streaks as that is not a part of their co-creation. So the 3D eyes literally do not see it or, do, or do their minds just choose to ignore it? It is simply not in their reality. Whether you don't see something in your reality or hear something, your earthly senses do not always dictate what is real. Okay. So is it fair to say that the higher vibrational timeline sees the streaks and the lower vibrational timeline doesn't? It is a cross of the two, oh. because it could be a positive and a negative, a more difficult lesson or a more high vibrational lesson. They're mirrors of each other. So there's some higher timeline, so to speak, individuals who will not see that part of the agenda. Yes, their world will be free of the streaks, whereas those within the same vibration may also see the streaks, but also in the reverse as well. So if I see the streaks and I see weather modification, enslavement, prison planet, that's kind of a low frequency, right? It is a frequency that is meant to help you to see 
that in some fashion, you have been a part of those streaks. You've wanted to bring some sort of fret or anxiety into your world. And you must ask yourself, why is this? And when you find it, then you are more capable of making disappear those lines through your energy instead of physicality. Okay, so is it fair to say that disasters such as the Maui fire are not entirely natural? Everything might be considered natural if it is a co-creation with you. Again, it was as much the negative as it was the positive, wanting this for a particular reason. And for that reason, it was pieces of your higher self that co-created it. But in our 3D reality, many suspect that there was evil intentions. And there is what we would say, polarity in everything. Uh -huh. Okay, so I guess what I'm really getting at is, what is the positive vibration of direct energy weapons? It is to help see what energy can be used when directed, not necessarily as a weapon, but you direct energy every day. And sometimes that energy that you direct is destructive and it creates something as you see the recent fire. It is also a symbol of what you do every single day. which is direct our intentions, mostly subconsciously. Yes. Sometimes it could be healing. Sometimes it could be destructive. Sometimes it's a gray area in between. In the third dimension, is Earth's temperature fluctuating irregularly? In your point of view, irregularly yeah we would say it's right on time <laughs> okay so the raising vibration of gaia is that reflected in 3d by a change in temperatures and natural disasters yes there is light and dark in everything this is a part of her awakening as well her growth her shedding of the old but the opposite half is that this is a time of death and destruction and remorse and sadness. So can we expect to see these irregular occurrences become more frequent? Yes. Um, so they'll wake some people up, but they'll send other people into fear? Yes. And this is just the 3D representation of the split? Yes. You could see these events as a nefarious group of entities wishing to do harm. Or you could look at this as this is the growth of the earth and she is awakening. Uh, what kind of death tolls are we talking here? There is death in everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, can we point to a singular event that will punctuate it, or is it just a series of events over time? You create your own series of events of preordained exit points. Right, so we choose when and where and how we want to die. Yes, you choose from a group of chosen exits. So it's a way to circumvent free will. We don't actually have it. You could see it that way. That's a one point prison planet. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what's the vibration past seeing this as a prison planet, seeing this as a simulation or a matrix? Like, 
What what is Earth beyond that? Beyond that, it is pure light. It is what you are without your skin and your attitudes and your personalities. Pure light. That's all a simulation is, a matrix is, an outer skin that doesn't always represent what is underneath and many times looks nothing like what is underneath. So when you say that beyond that earth is light, are we talking the fourth realm? Four and five, mix. So in 3D, earth is always bound in physicality where there's people exploiting her? Her skin. Everyone just sees her for her skin. Okay, um, I've been asking questions, but is there anything that we need to know about climate change, global warming, whatever they want to call it, earth changes? What do we need to know that we haven't stated already? Just a reminder that if this is part of your co-creation, then you know that you can co-create something more of a healing nature, if you wish. And also a reminder that you are the earth. Don't forget. All right. Thank you for speaking with us. We love you. And that was great. Mm. To the water. Yes. To the grounding. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that was an old feeling energy. I admit I had a lot of ego in that one. But, you know, I felt like I, I needed to bring my ego into it for some reason. I don't know why. What did you think of that channeling? Um, I thought it was interesting. It was definitely, I don't know, just a, a, a different way of looking at like, oh, we see chemtrails and oh, we see, you know, this and that. And it's a prison planet. But it's like. That's also a form of like entrapping you sure. once again. Like even though you're like, aha, I see it, but you're just trapping yourself once more. So it was like, just know that you do that. <laughs> you got to understand it's a prison planet to learn that it's not a prison planet. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that we created it and we can uncreate it yes. at any time. Yes, yes, yes. Very wise. Nice. All right. Well. That was cool. Suck on that, Al Gore. <laughs> yeah. Someone forward this Sit to Al that. Gore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He might be one of those evil doers wishing to control and manipulate and dominate the earth. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Well, you guys oh, send us. Hold on. Did you Whoa. see this? What? Yeah, I was showing Dude, the people. Dude, check out that resin. Put in the sunlight. Oh, it smells good. Sort of the sunlight. Wow. Well, I was already showing them. They seen it. Tell them, well, tell them about yeah. it. What it is quickly. So that's like eight or nine hundred year old resin from a pinion pine tree. It's pretty, pretty fascinating. I'm gonna smell it for you. Guys. <laughs> well, while he's sniffing away, if you guys have Ugh. suggestions for future channelings or you have questions, oh, yeah. uh, definitely let us know, and uh, we'll add it to the list. We appreciate everybody's suggestions and questions thus far and um yeah thank you guys don't forget to give this a thumbs up and, and a comment click, subscribe and comments yes we, want comments. we love those comments all right all right catch you guys later bye